Now, one of the great disappointments of having Federal Minister Alan Tudge on the sidelines at the beginning of the first parliamentary term is that there's no one with his passion equipped to prosecute a redrafting of the national education curriculum. As you may recall, Tudge was angered by the negative view of modern Australian history in the draft of the curriculum during last year. Meantime, his opponents, like Labor MP Tanya Plibersek, has described his protest as pure politics and not a search for the truth. In fact, Tanya linked his criticism to the way totalitarian regimes whitewash their history. Really? Tonight, education expert and advisor Kevin Donnelly from the Australian Catholic University has his say, and he joins us right now. Kevin, Happy New Year to you. Thank you very much, Chris. Uh, I cannot believe what I heard from Tanya Plibersek, although some people who are very unhappy with what she says and does and what she calls a country and what she calls a, a province would say, oh, that's <laughs> typical. But um, she obviously prefers to hold a much more negative view of Australian modern history. That is unfortunate, isn't it? It really is. And uh, the great... Uh, when I read her speech, she talked about trying to be uh, true, trying to be impartial, trying to be balanced... But in fact, when you look closely at what she said, she attacks Minister Alan Tudge for supposedly being very, uh, well, not acknowledging what had happened to Aborigines after European settlement. But in fact, Alan Tudge said, well, yes, they did suffer. Aborigines did suffer, and we have to acknowledge that. But what Alan Tudge is arguing is that you don't need to have a black armband view where it's all negative. You don't have a three cheers view, as Geoffrey Blaney called it. You need to have a balanced view. You look at the good and the bad. But what Tanya Plebisic is doing is using this whole debate uh, about history, the culture wars, as a political tool to try and win government and to try and denigrate the, uh, the Liberal government and Alan Tudge. See, at the end of the day, if you go through with some of the best historians in this country, they will tell you it was not a story of black perpetually against white or vice versa. There were shades of grey and joint cooperation in that history. There was, and I recently read a biography of Lachlan uh, Macquarie, one of the early governors, and I know he'll be criticised from the high moral ground, if you like, that the cultural left has today. But if you look at what he was doing at the time, he tried to educate Aboriginal people. He gave them land. He gave them resources around Sydney. And he did as much as he could to try and accommodate them and to adjust to the arrival of the Europeans. But the other problem here is with the national curriculum, Tanya Plibersek totally ignores the fact that there's no mention about uh, Mao Zedong, about the millions who died under his uh, cultural revolution. She wants a sanitised version of history. And that's the problem here. The cultural left only want their story told, whereas what Alan Tudge is arguing, and Geoffrey Blaney the same, and I argued when I co-chaired the review of the national curriculum in 2014, is we need a balanced view. There are many good things about European arrival, including the King James Bible, Blackstone's Laws of England. Mm. They underpin our political and our legal system. That's why we are a Western liberal democracy and we should celebrate that. And uh, you can't appreciate the truth of history unless you get differing views. And so why wouldn't we allow in our curriculums views that may be in some ways conflict or contradict? You should, and uh, that's why I mentioned I co-chaired the review 2014. We argued very strongly you can have that Indigenous perspective, and that's one of the three perspectives, uh, sustainability, the environment, China, Asia and Indigenous. But we said you must also look at Western civilization. I mean, the reality is geographically, we're part of Asia, but we're not like China, we're not like uh, Cambodia or uh, Thailand. We're a Western liberal democracy. 
And we argue you need the balance. You need to look at the, uh, as I said, what Blaney called the black armband view balanced against the three cheers view. You need to look at that. And as an educator, I'd argue you, you don't try and indoctrinate children. You don't try and uh, give them only one view, which is what's happening with the revised or the draft national curriculum. It's very negative, very uh, pessimistic. It's all about genocide, about there being nothing of value, nothing positive about European settlement. What you need to do is to get that balance right. Yeah, well said, Kevin. Um, with Alan Tudge off the scene right now, we need to rely on people like you to start standing up for a redrafting of that curriculum. Thank you for your time. My pleasure.